Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the collection of Blu-ray sets and the fact that I wonder if we're going to keep getting updated effects for them. Now it used to be for a while there we were getting pretty much one story in each box set was getting updated effects. All the way up, uh, 26 didn't, but two of the stories kind of already had that. And then uh, 24 didn't, and uh, I don't think any of the stories in it had ever had it before. Uh, but most of the time, by and large, we were getting at least one story with updated effects. But the last two we haven't. Season two we didn't, um, with Dalek's Invasion of Earth already having updated effects from the DVD release. Of course, that is a bunch of episodes. A lot of the budget probably went into restoring the episodes. And the same thing with season nine. The latest release that's coming is um, we don't have a new story with updated effects. We only have the special edition of Day of the Daleks from the DVD release. And I wonder if part of this is just due with inflation. I know inflation, inflation was high in 2022 here in the States. I know it was even higher in the UK. So I would imagine that is affecting their budget for these sets. And I don't know how much updated effects takes up their budget. It probably varies from story to story that they do the effects for. <clears throat> and I wonder if we're going to get any uh, box sets with updated effects from here on out or if they'll stagger them like maybe every third or fourth set might have one but not every season. I'm curious how that's going to go. Some seasons I feel like don't need it as much and some seasons do. Like I feel like season seven doesn't need it. I think a lot of that money will be going into restoration of the episodes which I do think is more important. For me the episodes themselves are the most important part more than updated effects more than um, behind the scenes stuff, the VAM material, I think the, you know, making sure the episodes look the best they can look is the top priority. So I think most of that money will go to restoring season seven. And I can't really think of any story in season seven that just drastically needs updated effects anyway. Uh, season 11, dinosaurs or spiders, but I'm gonna be honest, I have a feeling we're not going to get it for season 11. I know a lot of people want the updated effects for dinos. I don't think it's going to happen. My gut tells me that will not happen. I think a lot of the money will be going to restoring episode one as it should. Uh, I'm sure there'll be the behind the scenes stuff since we do still have a handful of people from that period. And I'm sure Katie will do stuff for it as well, even though she's not in that season. <coughs> um, but I, I just feel like that to, to do updated effects for Invasion of the Dinosaurs, that's so many different shots they'd have to do. And to do it justice and do it well, I think you'd have to have a pretty good budget for that or else you'd just have you know, crappy looking CGI dinosaurs replacing crappy looking practical dinosaurs. And there's no point in doing it if you're not gonna improve on how they look. You know, If you're just spending a little bit of money for crappy CGI, what's the point? You know, it's like Planet of the Daleks. I've always found the Planet of the Daleks uh, updated effects to be just a waste because it looked like it was just half-heartedly done, to be honest. I prefer the regular effects for Planet of the It's the only story with updated effects. I prefer the regular effects. Um, I just feel like they would really have to put a budget into it to do it justice. And I'd love to see it. I mean... That's the story Barry Letts wanted to see get updated effects. Barry Letts. And when Barry Letts was like, hey, we need to do updated effects, maybe you should do updated effects for it. But I don't know if they would put the budget in for that. Now, if they can't do that and they can do spiders a little easier, I'd be fine with spiders. But more and more, I feel like we might not get updated effects for season 11. I think they might only do it for certain series, like maybe every third series, every fourth series. So I've been going through trying to decide which seasons need it the most. Like season 25, I don't think necessarily needs it. Like season 24 hasn't had it. Season 26 hasn't had it. I don't really think 25 needs it. I would love to see updated effects maybe for uh, Remembrance. I talked about that when I was reviewing Remembrance recently. But it's not necessary. The effects in it are fine. And then Happiness Patrol, Silver Nemesis, and um, Greatest Show in the Galaxy, they're fine. I mean, Silver Nemesis could also use some update effect, but they're fine. It's not essential to me. I'm fine with it not having any. Uh, I feel the same way about season 13. I was thinking about it before I started 
filming this video, does season 13 have a story that just really needs updated effects? And I couldn't think of one. I think, I think the effects for Zygons is, is fine. It's good. I actually think the Loch Ness Monster looks pretty good. It even blinks. Uh, I think Planet of Evil is fine. I think it looks good. Uh, Android Invasion, fine. Um, Pyramids of Mars is fine. Seeds of Doom, Brains of Morgan. I think the effects for them are all fine. I don't. I can't think of any story in season thirteen where I'd be like, "That really needs some updated effects." If season thirteen gets announced without any updated effects, I'll be fine. Season fifteen, I would argue Fang Rock needs them. I don't think it's essential, but I think Fang Rock could use them. If there's anything you can really criticize Fang Rock for, it is that some of the effects look a little rough. However, that being said, it's not essential. I just like it. But for, Fang Rock is fine the way it is. Um, plus two stories, not one, but two stories in season 15 have already gotten updated effects on their DVD releases with The Invisible Enemy and The Invasion of Time. And I just don't know with that season already having updated effects for two stories if they would do it for another story. Now, uh, after having rewatched Underworld recently, I don't really think it needs it. I mean, other than maybe cleaning up some CSO, the model shots are fine. The model shots in Underworld are some of the best model shots in all of Doctor Who. Like episodes one and four, those model shots look phenomenally good. There are some pretty dynamic shots there. It's pretty impressive. All it would need is some CSO cleanup. I guess you could modify the laser blast a little bit when they shoot their lasers, but I think they look fine. I don't really think Underworld needs it, CSO aside. Uh, if anything, horror, fan rock, but I don't think we'll get it. Now, I think season 16 needs it. My number one priority on that would be Pirate Planet. Pirate Planet is good. I think it's the best story of the season, but it's Pirate Planet is an interesting one because it's. I think it's more effects heavy than people remember because there are a lot of people shooting laser blasts and the psychic people using their psychic powers and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, the little laser blast, they don't really shoot lasers. You know, it's just the little dots that appear on people. And for me, that could use some updating, like actually have laser blast, uh, kind of like when they improved the laser blast on uh, Earthshock and made those look better, actually giving them laser blast on this and then making the psychic people, when they use their psychic powers, uh, you know, making that look a little better when they create force fields. I really think, cause that's really the only complaint I have about Pirate Planet is the, it needs better effects. I love that story. It's just a phenomenally good story. Now, alternatively, I could see Armageddon Factor needing it, but that's a six-parter and it's also very effects heavy. Uh, so as much as I would love to see Arm Armageddon Factor get updated effects, I'd rather them go with Pirate Planet, especially since it's a lot of the same effects you know, a lot of laser blasts being fired. It's the same kind of effect you're making. Um, I think it would be easier and cheaper to do, especially being a four-parter. And it's just the story I would prefer to have it. I'll put it this way. When the Season 16 box set gets announced, if either Pirate Planet or Armageddon Factor doesn't have updated effects, I'm going to be doing a video complaining about it. And believe me, I can complain. I'm an American. If there's one thing we're better than anybody else at, it's complaining. We are like the Grand High Lama of complaining. That's my national pride at work right there on display. So that I will be complaining if we don't get one of those stories. I feel like season 16 is one of those seasons that definitely needs updated effects. Um, see, 1920, really it's just five doctors. Uh, a lot of season 20 also already has updated effects. I don't know if they'll do it for that season. Arc of Infinity already has updated effects. Maldron Undead, Terminus, and Enlightenment. All three of those have updated effects. Although I would love if they, excuse me, did like a version of Enlightenment with the updated effects that's still episodic instead of just the one long movie. If they did like they did with Shada and chopped it up into an episodic form and put back in the missing bits, that would be great. Uh, so I don't know if they'll do that, especially since Five Doctors has had updated effects before, but I'm gonna be honest, those updated effects are very dated now. Nobody likes Mr. Whippy, let's be honest. So I would love for Five Doctors to get updated effects just because I don't have a definitive version of it. I prefer watching some of the effects I prefer better in the original version, some of the effects I prefer better in the updated version. 
So I would like updated effects for that. But if we don't get them, I'm not going to cry over it. And again, since so many stories from that season have already had it, I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't get one for season 20. But on the other hand, we know season 20 has been in the works for a while. I mean, we're all but, one, you know, I think most of us are 99% sure, percent sure. Season 20 was supposed to have come out sooner. But then the pandemic hit. They couldn't get the thing in Amsterdam done. The Amsterdam done. Uh, which they have done now since restrictions have lifted. And, of course, Mark Strickson was uh, stuck in New Zealand. You know, he couldn't get over here to film, but he has now. Uh, so perhaps they did do updated effects for season 20 for something because they were doing a lot of updated effects probably when they started working on season 20 and around when it was originally slotted to release probably. So there may be one already done for season 20. Wouldn't surprise me. Season 21... Definitely needs updated effects for Resurrection. Resurrection is great. It's my favorite 80s Dalek story, but um, it needs updated effects. If you ever want to know, look at the look at the scene, watch the scene when the Daleks first invade the ship and right when they burst through the wall and they're fighting all the human resistance people. That scene is so bland without better effects. Like I've seen several YouTube videos where people have added updated effects for Resurrection, just, you know, fan-made ones, and they look so much better, so much better. They make that battle so much more intense that now when I watch it without updated effects, I'd just be bored. I'd just be bored. You know, they have the little hand cannon things that just go, and the little blue light lights up, and that's it. It shoots like no projectile or anything, and it's... It looks like they're waving a little toy, like they're five years old with a toy that lights up. Resurrection needs updated effects, maybe more so than any story in Classic Who. Any story. That's another one where when they announced the 21 box set, the season 21 set, if Resurrection doesn't have updated effects, I'm going to be here doing a video complaining about it because it needs them. It's such a good story. It just needs the effects to make the story live up to the, or make the execution of the story live up to the story. So the main seasons to me that definitely need it are 11, but I don't think we'll get it for 11, 16, and 21, in my opinion, because I'd love to see Pirate Planet or Armageddon Factor need it. I get them, because I think they need them, or Resurrection in season 21, because I think it needs it. So I want to know what you think about this. Do you think we'll be getting any more updated effects in the sets? Do you think that's something that's been chopped out because of inflation or just budget tightening? Uh, do you think they'll just kind of, you know, stagger it to where, oh, maybe every third or fourth story has them and some seasons won't get them. Like, I don't think season five will get them. Not that it really needs them to be fair. Same thing with season 13. So I want to know what do you think about this? So comment down below and let me know other things to do. Don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button, excuse me, and the bell for notifications. So you never miss out on another video. I also have a Patreon that helps me pay the bills. I would certainly appreciate if you would check that out, several different tiers there to look at. There's a link to that down in the description below. I want to give a shout out to some of my top tier patrons, Dr. Finn Perkins, Colin Coney, and Stephen Crane. I appreciate their support, as I do the support of all of my patrons. I also have a PO box. If there's anything you would like to send me to look at and review, as well as a link to my Amazon wish list is down there as well. Most importantly, though, thank you for watching.